Did I take the Wii in to trade? Yes, I did. Did they take it? No. What is going on guys, welcome back to the free trading game collection challenge, the series where I like to build a video game collection without spending any money. We do spend money in the series though, we do go out and buy bundles and, and consoles and, and individual games and sell part of it on to make the money back. In some cases we do actually make a profit on those things, but most of the time we then will take whatever's left over into CEX, get some credit and buy the games we want. Everything that you see video game related behind me on this shelf, even the TV, everything. Everything, all the consoles, everything has been acquired through this series. There are 40 videos in the playlist for you to check out. If you're going to go do that, feel free. And of course, if you uh, do go on to enjoy this video and you would maybe consider subscribing, that would be fantastic. I am very much eager to hit 100k and I think over 70% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed. It's free. If you don't like it, further along down the line, you can always unsubscribe. Anyway, uh, you are going to need to watch the last episode because I am going to refer back to that quite a lot. So, did I take the Wii in to trade? Yes, I did. Did they take it? No. Still have it. Uh, why didn't they take it? Uh, honestly, I'm going to give you a very, very, very quick rundown here because it's going to be boring. I don't have any footage of this because it would be a little bit awkward for me to walk up to the counter and just film them and say, hey, can I film this interaction? I don't really want them to know that I'm filming. One day they will find out and they will probably confront me or say, hey, I've seen you make a video about us on blah, blah. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that conversation. But uh, basically, I knew one of the boys behind the counter. I used to work with him when we worked for GameStation that eventually went to game that is now eventually sports direct i don't know it's a bit weird uh, but anyway i don't really think things ended badly we just haven't spoken in a long time he completely blanked me when i went in didn't look at me once i was there for a good five ten minutes at the counter he did not look at me once and then when i went back in after they tested the wii he didn't look at me again then either and i was there for a long time the second time because it was a big queue uh but um whether things ended badly between me and him i don't know but i'm putting the blame on him because there was nothing wrong with this Wii, but it was rejected due to battery corrosion uh, on the controller. The controller is, I mean, I, I'm going to open it right now. I'm going to get the controller and I'm going to show you what the battery compartment looks like. Because if you, if you're telling me, that, oh hello, cheeky, uh, if you're telling me that this was rejected due to corrosion, um, absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nothing. Nothing wrong with it. Works perfectly. It is very, very clean. It's It's been used a handful of times. And I know this because it came from a friend who assured me so. And I trust him. So, yeah, a little bit annoyed by that. It will go in. They will take it. Uh, it's just a case of me having to either go to a different CEX or wait until he's not there. Because I'm 100% convinced. I'm not even 99. I am 100% convinced that he has had a word. I think he's like a manager in there now as well. Um, so I think he's had a word and said, no, don't take it, but it is what it is. So uh, we had 24 pound in credit in the end because I traded in the PS1 games and I traded in the some of the PlayStation 2 games. Here's the receipt, nine items traded in, 24 pound, don't know if it's gonna focus. I was screwed out of um, a couple of quid though here it says PlayStation 2 memory card. Again, I, I apologize if it doesn't focus, but it says PlayStation 2 memory card. We didn't have a PlayStation 2 memory card. We had a PS1 memory card. So they took it in for £1.20 and they should have taken it in for £4. So I've been done. That, by the way, was already on the Xbox. I haven't gone out and bought Crash. Um, that was already on the Xbox. So that's just the loading or the splash screen for the game. Um, I, I couldn't get it to actually play gameplay for some reason. Anyway, um, we had £24. They won't take the PS1 either because it's uh, discoloured. Half of the shell has been left in the sun. The other half obviously hasn't because it's been placed on a table or whatever. But um, I'm going to have to sell that, which is not a, a big deal really. I'll sell that along with some of the games they rejected. So they took Tomb Raider 3 on the PS1. They took the original Tomb Raider on the PS1, but they rejected Tomb Raider 2. And I tell you what. Have they rejected both Spyro games? They did indeed reject both Spyro games. Uh, I have checked the discs. And, I, and, and it's, it's sort of... 
I can see why, but on the other hand, I'm thinking, uh, really, it'll it'll work. You know, it'll work. But yeah, they rejected both Spyros and they rejected Tomb Raider two. Uh, I don't think I took Rayman in. I'm not sure if I did, but either way, they didn't take that either. They took all the PS two games, which was pretty good. Left us with twenty four pound. Let's go into CEX now and have a little look around. So I am in Gloucester CEX this time. I wasn't going to stay in my local, given the fact that... Um, well, I obviously wasn't welcome there that day, should we say. But the only game I actually wanted in my local CEX that I couldn't get anywhere else was Sifu on the PS5. I think they've got it for £34. Uh, but we may go back and get it, we may not. This was really frustrating. They don't have this in my local one either. This is Resident Evil Zero on the GameCube. And it was only £8. And I thought, yeah, I'll get that. I opened it up and it's just a, a double DVD case. Why is that annoying? Well, it's not the original case, is it? And I, maybe I could switch it out for another one. I mean, I definitely could, but I don't have a spare GameCube case that I could. So just to prove what they look like, that is what a GameCube case should look like because the discs are tiny, right? It should be a place for a memory card in there and all sorts. So unfortunately, I'm going to leave that one on the shelf. Have a little look around, and I saw this. This is Resident Evil. Is it Revelations? I was under the impression that they only released this on the Wii U. Uh, turns out I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure they brought this out on PS4. Maybe they brought it out on Xbox. I'm not sure. Do we pick that up? You'll have to wait and see. So I'm looking at the PS5 section, really hoping that it had a Sifu traded in by the time that I'd actually made it there, but they didn't. Um, I say that as if I had any more credit to buy it. It was £34 on the PS5, like I said. Um, I, I will pick it up eventually I, I just need someone to take in that Wii if you sell a Wii on eBay by the way you get like even boxed you get like 25 30 quid if if you're lucky uh, so the fact that they give 33 pound in credit in CEX is mental so I need to hurry up and take that in really before they change their trade prices because it really shouldn't be as high as it is um, I'm looking around Sniper Elite 4 definitely a game I'd be interested in picking up Tony Hawk 1 and 2 over there still hasn't really come down enough for me to warrant picking it up. Plenty of PS4 options. There was one Mega Drive option in Asterix. It was £12. I, I thought about it and I, I don't know, I, I just decided against it for no real reason either. I just decided that it wasn't... I, I just didn't want to pick it up. Plenty of games I could have chosen actually, but for £24 I was a little bit limited and I went into this thinking, well I didn't go into this store thinking it, but I went into the whole situation thinking I'd have about £60 in trade and of course being left then with 24 having had the Wii and the PlayStation rejected, I, I just didn't know what to do. I was tempted to keep it and then I thought, now nah, if I keep it, I mean that's boring. I've, there's bound to be some games we can pick up that are just outside of the scope of a spending the profit episode. So if you're not aware, we like to go in and spend the profit on uh, certain games like once a week. But we have a like a spend limit of about £15. So I don't really want to be picking up like three or four games that are like four or five pound each because I can pick those up in a spend in the profit. I want a game like that that I'm not really going to pick up. In a spend and a profit, the in, in in a spend and a profit episode. So it's a little bit too expensive, twelve fifteen pound, just a little bit outside of that range. But on this occasion, I did leave that alone. They do have a, uh, I think they had a, like a limbo. Uh, there's a couple of other games in there as well, limbo and a few others like in a like a compilation pack. I really want that, but I'm pretty sure that's about twenty pound, and I, I didn't really want to pull the trigger. On that, looking at the PS2 stuff, some more PlayStation 4 stuff here. This is actually a pretty big CEX. I didn't really look too much at the Xbox One stuff uh, because a lot of the stuff that I actually want on the Xbox One is affordable for a spending the profit episode. So in the end, I picked up two games and I have £2 left on a voucher, which is there. Uh, the voucher is uh, obviously valid until 3022, so we're going to add that to the Wii and maybe a few other things that I have along the way. Um, and I'm hoping to pick up Sifu. There are a couple of games that have value to them that I would like to pick up. Sifu is one of them, but because it's quite new, uh, I am tempted to leave it. I do really want to play it, but I'm tempted to leave it for now because I've 
I've got a very strong feeling that it will drop in price. It's quite a, a niche indie game. It's not a AAA release or anything because it came out digitally first and there was such a big demand for it that it's now on physical. But you, it's still not that common, if you get what I mean. But I think it will drop further. I think it'll come down to about 25. So I may leave that alone for now. There is another PS4 game that I really want to pick up. It, it doesn't look particularly good, but it's one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time on the PC. So I would like to get it on the console if I could, just to give it a, a, a go, if you will. But you saw me pick up Resident Evil Revelations on the Wii U. Did I end up picking it up? Yes and no. I got it on the PS4. Going for the full set of Resident Evil games on the PS4, so you kind of have to pick this up. I, like I said, I didn't know this existed on this console. Uh, it doesn't come with a manual, unfortunately, but I don't think this game ever did. The condition of it is it's, it's decent, it's not amazing, but it's good enough for me. I don't really know anything about this game, if I'm honest. Uh, I, I think... I think it originally came out on the Wii U, and it was exclusive there for maybe a very limited time, maybe a month or so, and then they brought it out on PlayStation. I haven't actually looked into that, that's just from what I remember, so I might be wrong in saying that, but I'm pretty sure that was the case. Probably isn't, I'm probably talking absolute nonsense, but... As it does say it includes updated HD textures, so that would suggest to me that it came out on a console that wasn't powerful enough to have HD textures, which could be the Wii, it could be the Wii U, I don't know, but that's the first pickup. And then the second one, you saw me pick up Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube. Did I pick that up? No, but I did pick up Resident Evil on the GameCube. We've talked about this, that was £10, that one was 12 and that takes us to our £22 uh, limit, say limit, spend if you will, like I said we've got £2 left. Uh, two discs on that one. Manual is very, very nice as well. It, honestly, I don't think that's ever been removed from that box before. That is a very, very crisp manual. Uh, two discs, like I mentioned before. Uh, I've never played it on the GameCube, only ever played it on PS1. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if that is exactly the same. And I say that, I know it is exactly the same. That was the reason why I wanted it on the GameCube. We talked about it. I'm going to quickly go over it again. So... I love Resident Evil, one of my favourite game series of all time, I even love all the films, I even enjoyed the most recent series that has now been cancelled, even though I didn't really look into it too much as a Resident Evil thing, I just looked at it as a zombie show, uh, but either way, it's been cancelled now so we can stop talking about it. The original games on the PlayStation 1, fantastic, I played the first one there, played the second one there, played Nemesis there, and I think I played, I can't remember what I played 4 on, it might have been a GameCube, I can't remember, either way, um, the GameCube versions look better, they will run better, and they are the genuine original games. They're not like the PlayStation 4 remakes or anything. Like, and We've got Resident Evil 2 on the PS4. That is a remake, and they've changed some stuff on it. It's not the exact copy of the game. Whereas GameCube have the exact copies, and they are, in my opinion, a little bit cheaper. Depends where you go, but I think they are a little bit cheaper. So I'm definitely going to pick them up on GameCube. So we'll go from Resi 1 all the way to 4, and we'll pick up 0 and any other GameCube exclusives that there are on the GameCube, obviously. And then we'll go for all these type of games and the remakes and everything on the PS4. So it's a little bit boring today to only pick up two games, both Resident Evil, but two different platforms. It's a shame I can't. I couldn't have shown you the interaction of me trading those games in because, like I said, I don't really want to go up there with a camera in someone's face because there's just no need for it. So we'll see what happens next time. Though I will record as much as of, of what I can. Uh, but we've been done by uh, by CEX twice. They didn't take the console, even though there's nothing wrong with it, and they did me out of a memory card. I couldn't go back in uh, and say, oh, you know, I actually did trade in a PlayStation One memory card because I don't think they're gonna. Um, like, how could I prove it? I suppose I could say, go look at your, your, your memory cards, and I guarantee you've got a dark grey PS1 memory card, which I knew you didn't have before, but then, but then it wouldn't be on the stock file, would it? So how would I know that? Maybe I could argue it, I don't know, maybe for the content I will argue it, but, um... For the sake of £2 something, I don't know if I'm really that bothered. That's going to do it for today, though. They will go on the shelf. They are added to the collection. In the next episode, we are going to do a spend in the profit. I visit a game. They are becoming very, very, very scarce these days. My local game is shut down now, so we have to go to Sports Direct, which I alluded to earlier. Uh, we're going to do a spend in the profit episode there. And then... 
hopefully we'll go back and trade some stuff in in the episode after that. But if you have enjoyed this one, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And until the next time, goodbye. Thank you.